Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm here with me. I'm Neve. Neve. <laughs> it's so difficult to look into the camera and not. I know this is a really weird. My eyes are gonna just be going. Up weird today. angle. <laughs> um, so we're putting our matchy shoes on, and we're gonna go for a picnic in the park. So I got like already a blanket, and I got some snacks, and we're going to do some more shopping. Okay. There we go. Grab the bag. So, and now I'm like, how do I not sit crotch first? Yeah, exactly. Are my boobs hanging out? <laughs> not really. Okay, so we. Set up all our food. <laughs> what do we got here? Um, okay, so we thought it would be fun to actually get some... Um, get some more interesting foods. Yeah, some stuff we have never tried. We have our favorite kitchen chocolate. We got some kind of like a, a sushi room. Strawberries, guacamole, cherries. And we are going to try dessert hummus. Because I will buy anything that has been on Shark Tank. Vegan, gluten-free, I'm super curious. It's made with chickpeas, so that's gonna be nice. Mm. It's actually funny, okay. When we were in the elevator, we were talking about my neighbor, right? That I have um, an opera singer, so. Your best impression of your opera singer neighbor. <laughs> okay, so. You're sleeping very you're often, peaceful. yeah. Very often during the day, I just hear like, <laughs> <laughs> but then a bit better and it was funny because <laughs> Neve asked me what do you rather have a crying kid no what, was, what did you I say I think there is totally a scale of because you you're annoying to someone I'm annoying to someone we're all annoying to people but there is a scale of annoying neighbor and I heard kids crying and I asked you like is it you know bad living next door to kids and you were like not compared to the opera singer. And then I asked you, would you rather live next to the opera singer or live next to someone who is always just a little off to you? Like you run into them a lot, they're your neighbor and they don't say thank you when you hold the door open. They kind of like, don't say like, hi, they look you up and down. And then you said you would then take the opera singer. And yeah, I, like I would that, take the that opera singer. That, like, so now I appreciate I appreciate the neighbors. As long as opera. the opera singer is nice to she's you. She's good though. She, I mean, she's impressive. She's really, really good. Oh, you stay away from our crackers, Miss. Oh my God, we, no, we, we got have all this, all this fruit out and we didn't here. think it through. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there is something sweet I on mean, my camera. But save the bees. I mean, the, the, the bee is an idiot. Oh. Why is it on the camera? There's all this fruit here. No, it's perfect. It B stays there. We're, we're Are all you scared? Good. Like, will you run away? I'm not. Re no, you're. You're like. Really I'm ready right. to go. This is triggering my fight or flight right so now. So we were just talking about like how if you're like a paranoia person, I was like, no, I think I'm. <laughs> sometimes I should be a little bit more concerned about danger. I like the cute chicks on the front. Look at them. Very. It's kind of like bad because I often choose my wine or my rosé. No, wine I don't, but rosé and based stuff, on how based on how cute it is. Based on how cute it is. <sighs> hey, I get so influenced, it's crazy. Mm -mm. Um, I love cute stuff. Yeah. Actually, you got influenced as well because, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we walked in Whole Foods and we were like, okay, we need to try some <laughs> stuff, <laughs> which is like, which we never tried before. So we got this dessert hummus made out of chickpeas and... and it's chickpeas? But it's cacao powder and everything, so I am like, <laughs> let's try this. I couldn't reach as far as you, so my now you're tiny. more sen most sensual way of eating a star. Uh, oh my god, I love that. Oh my god, it literally tastes like chocolate. Milk. It's good, right? Oh my god, how do you feel about double dipping? Because I'm about to do it. I really don't care. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was like, I, you don't know me that well yet, but I'm gonna double dip. I know that. I know. Some people are like really terrified of that. I did bring. I don't know why though, but um, 
know I'm not, I'm not really like Hey man, you don't know I could use a fork to eat my sushi Okay, that's true Quick, quick question You go This is a difficult question for you because you are in a happy relationship But hypothetically mm -hmm. You go on a first date with someone yeah. Let's say it was your first date with Max And you go for sushi mm -hmm. And he asks for a fork Red flag? I honestly <laughs> I've always thought a little bit if I was dating a guy who wouldn't appreciate food or would just like only like like potatoes, fries and like just basic basic I would be like mm. Okay, it wouldn't be like red flag immediately if he asked for pork I mean, no, that's, but he's that's, eating sushi That's the like thing, that's education, right? I can, I, if the guy's really really cool, I can educate him like uh uh, you need to eat it with sticks, no pork with But sticks? it would be a little bit like an would be a little bit of bad impression on me like really and you, yeah for you. would you say something yes if it was of your course first, first, you would i love that of course i would say that, but i wouldn't say like oh my god what you are you doing i would be like <laughs> laughing a bit like why are you eating why are you doing i would make a joke out of it yeah. of course i would say it yeah because that's really strange to me really mm -hmm. strange okay so do you find that a guy on the first date um, does a guy need to pay for a first date? No, absolutely not. But I was raised. My father told me like, if I'm on a date, I need to I need to offer to pay once. If he says no, I need to offer once more, and then I need to gracefully accept and say thank you very much. And yeah. then and then I th I totally think it's up to you to get someone back because I think if it's gonna be you know if it's just dating and it's very early on totally different but in a relationship if someone's buying you dinner you well, you know it doesn't have to necessarily even out but you get the coffee next time you go for coffee and you have to I think as the as a female you kind of have to work your way in there to be like I'm gonna treat you too sometimes okay question for you what is a perfect first date activity day perfect six. first date Diet. Perfect first date activity for me. I like to meet during the day. Yeah, that's I like to meet during the day and something that's quick because I know within the first maybe minute of meeting someone whether I'm gonna and I'm not saying like whether I could date them but whether I could hang out with them for longer. Yeah. So I could you know that. and I would like to do either like coffee or like early drinks so I could sit somewhere feel it out and then if we want to you know go for lunch or go for dinner after that I don't want it planned but mm -hmm. like then if I want to then we will but I need my like escape card to be sitting right there just so that I, I'm so bad I'm so the type to be like oh no like I have this thing that I really have to get to and really I'm just not feeling it You're I'm, like, I'm no, too nice that's, like, I would, that's so smart to do that during the day because in the evening it's kind of like, where do we need to go at 10 p.m., you know? Everything's too romanticized at 10 p.m. Oh I'm just God. like, why are we gonna hang out? Mm. I like to do like, um, like to do. I don't liked. Know, liked. Liked. <laughs> Max, nice. Um, um, always like more like activities, you know, like doing a picnic or like, I think I did a couple times like baking pancakes or going bowling or oh, just cute. do something because then it's not like so forced you know it makes a first date so much easier pros and cons pros and cons day dates versus night, night dates. dates night dates calm okay let's start with positive first okay. night date it can the ambience can be already a little bit more like romantic mm -hmm. <laughs> if you really really like the guy you can immediately go i was just gonna say like um Okay, I would say a pro, and not for everybody, but a pro that I enjoy on, on, a, on a nighttime date is that you can have like a glass of wine and it just chills you out oh. a little. Oh, and, yeah. like you're not gonna go on a coffee date with someone and be like, make it Irish, like, cause you wanna like loosen up a little. But that's also why I really enjoy daytime dates because you have to show up and just be, be you. you. But you know what it is like, I find on the first day, like it's not that I'm gonna get wasted, but like that just, just one wine just like loosens me up a little bit and I feel I'm more natural me than I am maybe, if, I, if I'm really nervous. Okay, for it. new hypothetical for you. 
Wait, we're not. We're doing pros and cons. Yes, but you go on. A, you go on a nighttime date. Guy has five drinks. If he gets hammered, you mean? He has five drinks, and you stopped after two. But he just keeps them coming. Yeah, is that, that like, would is that, that a would major, be major like no no for you. Well, it's not a major no no, but that would be a little bit like okay. Are you like really nervous? Are you like, bored? You don't, are you bored, or you're really nervous that you're like trying to drink it away, or you're just like like to drink a lot? Something that I've only recently stopped doing. I would straight up like if I was on a date, and I think that this is such a girl thing too. When you go on a date with someone, and they're like, and the dude orders his drink, and you just naturally go, "I'll get one too." And then the next thing you know, you're drinking like a whiskey on ice, and you're like, "I hate whiskey." Like, and it's just like, not like I don't particularly love white wine, right? Yeah. And, and a dude would be like. Should we just get a bottle of, of this? And I'd be like, sure. And I'm like, and looking back at what I used to do, I'm like, why didn't I just say, hey, I, I prefer red. I prefer. Why did I not just say that? I was always very clear what I wanted. Really? I was way too people pleaser. I was like, we can get that thing that I hate. No, but there's also like, I kind of like, I find it also attractive in another person. And a big guy that knows exactly like, That. I'm like no, you can also have like your own like mm -hmm. your print. But that's so funny. Pro for the day, date, like your your. It's really like it's just you. Like no drinking involved. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. Um, you can leave whenever you want to leave. Something pops up. Also, you see how they're dressed like in their day in their daily life. You in the evening, people often like. I don't know if it really matters though. Do you really find like clothing? very important clothing is important to me up to an extent yeah, I same. enjoy I kind of like effortless I like effortless in the way that like you shop nicely you have a style you have your own like look that you yeah. do but you just throw it on I don't want you to take long because I don't take very long to get ready I just get dressed I am always are you ready, ready for before <laughs> And it's not, and it's not that he is like, work, like busy with his clothes, not at all. But I'm like always it, ready. But he likes, like, he has fun doing that. No. No, he hates also clothes. He oh, hates really? it. He hates it. Mm -hmm. So, but I also dated someone who I, I couldn't get over it. He dressed like a cartoon character, and like you'll get what I mean. Like you know how like you watch The Simpsons, and like Homer yeah. Simpson wears his white shirt, blue pants brown shoes and that's just what he wears right mm -hmm. my ex would wear like and I told him this and he wouldn't care that I'm saying this I am not trashing him he still likes me <laughs> but he would wear like and he was a grown man like 30s and he would wear a red t-shirt with blue jeans and red shoes and I was like you look like you belong on the Simpsons like can you just like Put something else. But I, was it because he didn't care, or he really liked it? He liked it. Oh, okay. But he was also like, I thought I found it endearing how clueless he was. So I, I, and I don't really care. Like if you're happy and it's not offensive, I don't. Really I don't care. really care. But it is a to me that's like a, a nice bonus if someone dresses really yeah, well. Yeah, same. I remember when I, I used to always look at someone's shoes on the first day. Like always. Really. I used, I think shoes are a lot about a person What's and I, a no -no and I always said a guy I'm dating mm -hmm. for sure needs to own a pair of all-stars like that's like mm -hmm. that's just buy it. I don't know mm -hmm. Axel doesn't own I all -star. That's, a, that's a good I mean, <laughs> he hates them. So you know gonna go anywhere Well mm -hmm. do you wear anything he hates? Yeah What is I he think so hate? I don't know we never really Oh well, yeah I bought those oh but this <laughs> <laughs> so many jokes about this. What is it? You remember the, or you know those big Balenciaga boots, uh, uh, sneakers? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. And I bought them with the color. And he, the first time I came home and he started laughing. He was like, "You bought Skechers?" Oh. And I was like, "No, those are not Skechers." He was like, "Are you really gonna walk around with those?" That's amazing. Um, I did, and he hated it. I was always joking with all his friends, and they're just so big on me. <laughs> I feel like a giraffe with like really big, big like feet. feet. It just doesn't fit me and now like they're in the closet. That's another that's another important thing though, right? There are certain things that like 
you just either pull off or you don't. And even though confidence does play into it a whole lot, for me, I look at some the way that some people dress and I love it and I'm like, that just would not look cool on me. Cool and so on for you, certain no. dudes, like my best friend back home, dresses impeccably and he, but he's a gay dude right and he has this like flair and this like just amazing fashion sense that some dudes i've dated i'm like even though i like that i don't think you could pull it off no it's very personal and changes so for everyone. It's, so it's like i need that's important to me if, if if my guy is like he looks like he fits what he's wearing yeah 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 you, you know you try something on and you're like not, not me, me. not Happen me, to me. Well, I think we can continue the girl talk or the boy talk for hours. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed watching this mukbang. Is that how I was saying? Mukbang. Mukbang. What, what is the origin of mukbang? I don't know. <laughs> well, this healthy mukbang and our little chat in the park. Uh, don't forget to follow me as well. Pop it up down below. <laughs> If you guys have any questions for us or if you want to see more of these kind of videos, if you want to see me again on my channel, then comment down below and give this video a big thumbs up. If you like hummus, chocolate hummus. <laughs> chocolate hummus. <laughs>